Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a giant DIY Halloween spider using materials from the Dollar Tree and Home Depot. The first thing I'm doing is taking my two plastic bowls from the Dollar Tree and I'm securing them together using my black duct tape. The plastic bowls will be the spider's body. Next, I grabbed my trash bags, and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take one out, you're gonna open up the bag, and you are going to put the spider's body inside of the trash bag. After I put my spider's body into the trash bag, I realized that it was kind of transparent, so I took it out, grabbed a can of flat black spray paint, and sprayed it. While the bowls dried, I went ahead and grabbed my pool noodles. I'm using eight pool noodles from the Dollar Tree and I'm cutting them in half using my scissors. Once they're cut in half, I just kind of stood them up right next to each other to kind of form a spider's leg. You're going to repeat this process for all eight pool noodles. I quickly realized on the third spider leg that the hot glue gun wasn't really a good mix with the pool noodles. So if you are going to recreate this spider, I would just recommend leaving the hot glue gun out. Now that all my spider legs were finished, it was time to attach them to the spider bodies. Here, I'm just kind of gauging a good placement for the legs. Now what you're going to do is put your spider body inside of your trash bag. This step was a little tricky because I'm impatient and the spider body wasn't quite dry, so it kind of stuck. I just shook it a little and it finally made its way down. I didn't want to see any of the pointed edges, so as you can see here, I am just taking my duct tape and taping those corners down. Then you're going to pick up your spider body, twist it like a bag of bagels, and then secure it with a tight knot. You're gonna be using all of the excess trash bag as the spider head. So what you're going to do is pretend like you're just tying a top knot on the top of your head and then grab a clear elastic and put it over the top. I wanted the spider head to be a little bit more secure, so I went ahead and added a few more smaller pieces of duct tape. Next thing you're gonna do is start attaching your spider legs and assembling your giant spider. I did this by taking a small piece of duct tape, putting it on the end of the noodle and then attaching it to the trash bag. And then I'm taking a few more pieces of duct tape and attaching the noodle to the spider body.
I wanted the spider's head to be a little bigger, so I took a trash bag, crumpled it up into a little ball, and then secured it on the back with some duct tape. I'm now going to attach that to the spider body using some duct tape. Our Dollar Tree was sold out of black pool noodles, so instead I'm going to improvise and cover all my pool noodles with duct tape. However, if you were able to get your hands on the black pool noodles at your local Dollar Tree, then I would highly recommend doing that. If you end up going the duct tape route, then I will say this took me two rolls of 3M black duct tape from Home Depot to complete the entire look. Here's how my giant spider looked once all of the duct tape was attached. I went ahead and added these little reinforcements. As you can see, I'm pointing right there and right there. This kind of gave the legs a little bit more stability. Now it's time for my favorite part of the project and that is adding texture with one of my favorite products. It's called The Great Stuff. You can pick it up at your local Home Depot. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the entire top of the spider. It is not shown in this video, but I also use The Great Stuff on all of the spider's legs. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out our DIY giant Halloween spider for the final look. Come check us out on Instagram at This Minimal House or our blog at www.thisminimalhouse.com.